this is this is something that a lot of people don't understand about coaching and coaching is key in in this life i'm a coach you're a coach we both hire coaches mm -hmm. to shorten that that learning curve it always saves us money and time but most coaches don't teach people to hold each other and themselves accountable because yeah. it's more profitable that way I'd, yeah. rather, I'd rather coach someone for a month get them to their next goal have them go on their way and come back in six months when they need me again yeah Absolutely. Well, there's so much truth to that, Ronald. Like it, it you talk about self accountability first off. So I'll ping on that first when it comes to coaches. I personally don't like to call myself a coach because the market is very saturated. And unfortunately, it's overly saturated. I might get a lot of hate for this by people that don't lead by example. I'm going to keep a 100. They don't lead by example. So what I try to do, if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and I know Ronald, you do the same thing, is I viciously and I want people to get this for themselves as well, because this is how you become successful. Viciously try to attack the weaker version of myself. That means waking up at four o'clock in the morning. That means doing a hundred mile bike race, when, even though I'm still disabled. That means doing a bikini competition when I had three flare -up days back to back. That means viciously leading by example. So if you're going to hire a coach, hire someone that's not just in it for the money, has something to share with you, and also is leading by example. Self-accountability is huge. It is absolutely freaking huge. Sometimes people will hire coaches that don't hold them accountable because it's more monetarily, you know, strong in the future. I'm not someone, I'm like, if I don't see you getting benefit, and I've done this with other people, I'm like, okay, if we're not going to exercise the program and you're not going to use the program, now I'm going to say to you, I don't want to continue compensation. So I want to make sure that there's a return on investment for my time and their time. That's not just money. I'm going to drop uh, something else about coaching that, that no one ever, I've never shared it on a podcast and I've never heard it from anybody else. I have something called the 40% rule. Mm. When we sit down and we go through your skills and where you need to be, if you can't do 40% of what you agreed to at the end of each session, after three sessions, I fire you. Nice. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things where people go, you can't fire me. I'm paying you. And it's like, of course I can. Yeah. But, but people come back to me six months later and they said it was the best thing I ever did to them because they needed that kick in the butt. 